Hi, I'm Anori, and today I'll be baking some cinnamon buns. So I was on YouTube and I saw this video from the Gosney Kitchen titled The Best Cinnamon Bun. The chef was Richard Bertinet and it looked good but I wanted to see if it's actually the best cinnamon bun. So with that being said, let's get started. So here I have all the ingredients. I got the flour, yeast, milk, the eggs, the salt, sugar and butter. So what I'm going to do first is to activate the dry yeast. I'm done with the activation of the yeast. So what I did is use a third of the milk and throw it in the microwave, add flour and sugar to it and then mix it with the yeast. So now I'm just going to add the wet ingredients. So that's the yeast, the rest of the milk. Add the eggs in. I like to mix it before I add it. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to add the flour, sugar, salt, and the butter. So I'm going to put on the dough hook. This is for four minutes on low speed. So far it's looking good. I'm just going to increase the speed now until it's looking good. Yeah, so I'm all done with the mixing. I have the dough here. A bit on the sticky side, but it's manageable. So I'm just going to fold it. That's a little flour. Bowl. Place it in. And then I'm just going to cover it up and put it aside and start with the filling. So now it's time for the filling. So it's very easy. You got butter, sugar, and cinnamon. So in no particular order. I'm just going to add the sugar, cinnamon, and then butter. So now I'm just going to mix it on medium speed and finish with the filling. I don't know if it's because I added everything at once why his is looking darker but this is looking a bit pale and the cinnamon taste isn't that strong. I'm compelled to add more. Just gonna add a few more the filling it's not looking as thick as his but I'm just gonna put this aside and wait until the dough is proofed now that the dough has proofed I'm just gonna flour the work surface just like to put that yeah I'm um, not a perfect roll but it's looking good so I'm just going to add the paste now. Again, his looking way thicker than mine. I'm just going along with it. Maybe I mixed it too much. So yes, I'm all done now. This is what was left back. Not much. I don't know what to do with this. But yes, I'm just going to fold it now. Fold it in thirds. So this very sticky. Oh shit. Yeah, so he said this should be able to make twenty four. So I'm just gonna score it and See if I can get 24 from it. I think I made this too thick. Oh, it's not coming out properly. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm gonna braid this. I'm gonna plot this.
Ugh. I think this is too sticky to like to even like even braid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna leave it as is. Maybe like maybe not roll it. Maybe just like plot it and then like here. So I'm just gonna roll this and place it in the hole. I don't know where I went wrong or if I did something wrong, but this is what I have so far. Uh, it's not looking like what I saw on the video, but let's see how it comes out when it's baked. So what I'm going to do now is to allow this to proof. Took about 20 minutes, but um, from the look at things right now, everything looking pale. The filling looking pale. Dough is a bit sticky, but I'm just going to brush it with the egg wash and place it in the oven. Finally, so it came out decent not bad I'm pretty sure if I posted this the fact that you're watching this that means it's not looking bad um, I'm not ready to taste it yet though I need to cool it so I'm just gonna allow this to cool down and you'll see me for the taste test visually not bad at first I had some doubts because it was a bit soft, the dough was a bit soft and the filling was soft as well. But it came out good, looking good, so now it's time for the taste test. It's good, no complaints, soft, very soft. A little bit more cinema would be nice, but it's good. Um, I think this will go great with some icing on top. Well, thank you, Richard Bertinet. Good recipe. Is it the best? Not sure. Not sure. But well, it's good. I will buy this any day, to be honest. Um, with that being said, thank you for watching. I tested the best cinnamon bun. I would give this a 9 out of 10 not perfect but it's great great if you saw this in the store I definitely would buy it without complaining that being said thank you for watching until next time wow